Hey guys, ModsLink here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer files quickly and easily to your PS3 running a custom firmware and using an FTP client. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is obviously your jailbroken PS3. If you don't have one and you want one, you can purchase a 3.55 original firmware PS3 from the ModsLink store located in the description below and then use the Rebug 4.78.1 tutorials to update your console up to a Rebug custom firmware. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is obviously your controller to control the console, a USB flash drive, you will also need a computer as well as a wireless router, your PS3 can be connected either via Wi-Fi or with an Ethernet cable. After you have done that, go ahead and get your flash drive. And we will go over to the computer and download the files that we need. Alright, so over on your computer, first off, go to these two URLs and download these files. The first one is Multiman version 4.78. So download the base version here and next download FileZilla so here uh, these two links will be down in the description so download whichever version fits your computer so Windows 64-bit, 32-bit, Linux or Mac OS X I've got Windows 64 bit so I've already downloaded this so download this and install it once you've installed it you will have this program here and the next thing we need to do is plug in our flash drive once the flash drive comes up, make sure it's configured to work with your PS3. If you need help uh, configuring your USB flash drive, look in the description below and you'll see a video there on how to set up your flash drive for use with your PS3 or custom firmware PS3. Next, get this multi-man package that you just downloaded and put it on your flash drive. And make sure it's just on the root of the flash drive. Alright, so once that's transferred, you will have this Multiman version 4.78 base blah 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 package file. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and eject the flash drive, and we'll go back to the PS3. Alright, now back on your PS3, go ahead and plug in your flash drive. And go over to your package manager, install package files, standard, and here you will see that multi-man package file. Go ahead and install it. Uh, by the way, this will work on DEX or CEX consoles. It doesn't matter. Once you have that installed, um, you can go ahead and load up multi-man. wherever that is right here agree to these terms alright so once you have multi-man loaded up go over to the left side over here to your settings and go to your system information and here you will see your IP address. So go ahead and pull up FileZilla on your computer. Once you have this up, simply type the IP address that you see there up here on the host. your username and password can be left blank then click quick connect and and here as you can see you now have access to view everything on the PS3 so here is the USB flash drive 
and here is that multi-man file that we just transferred here is your hard drive or here is your hard drive and everything in the hard drive alright so that's how you do it in multi-man another method if you use rebug custom firmware is to simply launch rebug toolbox instead once you have rebug toolbox up click on system information and here you will get an IP address as well so go to FileZilla on your computer and in here type in that same IP address 10.10.1.220 yours will obviously be different but here as you can see your username can be left blank password blank quick connect and now you have access to these files here so here you can access the USB again and see that file that we put on the flash drive you can also access the hard drive and everything else that you have on the PS3 I would advise you don't touch any of these flash folders because if you go in here and you mess with any of these uh, files in here you could end up breaking your console or at least having to format your hard drive and lose everything so that is basically it for this so in order to show you guys how to transfer files first off let's go over to the computer so on the computer here um, multi-man has this very annoying music when you first turn it on so in order to change that music you can download any mp3 file like this this is a friend's song uh, I'll have a link in the description to the full song if you guys care to listen to it but anyways um, go into the HDD0 game and then this BLES 8068 BLUS 8068 so in here and USDR we have a sound.bin file if we simply rename any mp3 file to sound.bin we can replace that annoying sound with any sound that we want so simply drag your file over to where you want it click overwrite if you want to overwrite the old file and the file here will transfer and now it's transferred over to the PS3 so let's go back to the PS3 and make sure this sound was applied successfully alright so here is the PS3 I'll go ahead and exit out of rebug toolbox and we'll go ahead and launch multi-man So I actually have my sound turned off because the sound was so annoying, but let me go ahead and turn it back on here. So I've re-enabled the sound. I'll go ahead and restart Multiman. And now as you can obviously hear, it's a completely different song now. It's not the uh, super annoying lady, I don't know, whatever kind of music they put on here. It's super annoying if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's how you change the music on Multiman and also transfer files to and from PS3 via FTP. So again, you can transfer files via FTP using Rebug Toolbox, Multiman, or there's other package files out there like Blackbox, FTP, and a few other applications which support FTP clients. So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys found that helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share this video. Consider subscribing as well for future videos, reviews, tutorials, etc. Also, if you like this channel and would like to support it, you can use the links in the description to purchase items on Amazon. You can purchase items on the Mods Link store 
or you can donate on the main channel page. But as always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.